Shut up, Cornelia. Oh, hey. I'm a ginger. You might know me as Carrot Top, Sean White, or the Angry Ginger Kid. But today, I'm Cadet First Sergeant Dirk. And I'm here to talk about the custom service of the United States Army. Let's go find a lucky cadet that can teach. Right now, alright? Let's go, Schmidt Lap. Okay, that's Schmidt Lap. This is your lucky day, because I get to teach about the traditions, customs, and courtesies of the United States Army. But the Army doesn't have customs and traditions. That's not true, Schmidt Lap. We have a lot of customs and courtesies. Customs, it's a long tradition that we have for a very long time. It's even validated by law. And courtesy, it's just being polite. But where did these customs and courtesies come from? And why do we have them? Well, and back in the day, in Roman times, antiquity, a Roman soldier would lift up his right hand in order for him to show that he was unarmed. And this is where we get our salute from. Medieval knights did the same thing with the visors and letting them show their eyes to show a kind of respect. See, so showing respect for me to you and you to the army and our comrades. But first of all, there has to be more than, uh, customs and courtesies than just saluting. And also, when do you salute? That's a good question, Schmidt Lap. Why don't you take a seat? Let's start with when do you salute? You always salute a highly ranking officer. Uh, if he walks by you, you do in the beginning of the day, and he'll return the salute, and then you drop yours. Uh, this shows respect not only for you, but for him as well. You also salute when pointing to an officer. The only time you don't salute an officer is when you're out in the field. This is for only security reasons. You don't understand. But what about other customs and courtesies, Mr. Dirks? Uh, another courtesy is to call, the peop uh, call people by their rank or title, such as I'm a first sergeant and you're a private, so I'll call you a private Schmidt Lap or first sergeant Dirks. Right? So someone such as Christopher Coco, you would address as Captain Coco. Oh, I see, first sergeant. So is that all the customs? Oh, no, at all. not at all, Schmidt Lap. Some other customs include like the evening gun, the retreat of the ceremonies, the three volley salute. Raising the hand, right hand with the oaths, or even a silver dollar salute. Those are some good customs. But what about courtesies? Uh, don't worry, Cadet Smollett. We'll get in there. Right, courtesies is great for building relationships and adds a welcome note to all human affairs. These customs are good. But where does courtesy come to play in the Army? Well, Smollett. Courtesies, or being polite, is very vital in the Army. kind of gets a mutual respect among your peers, your supports, and leaders. Uh, this can, you can do this easily with thank you cards, such as uh, special events, military balls, guest speakers, when an officer comes to visit you at your house or when you're sick, or if you get invited to an officer's house. Uh, you got to have good manners when you're talking to people, and use the correct title, such as lieutenant, captain, first sergeant, or private. No, I think I get it now. Such as, I'm a private, and you're a first sergeant. Oh, that's correct. Could I smart that? See, anybody could do this, either like when you get your soldiers' time off to visit sick ones, or you could go visit your soldiers when they're sick, or you could have special days off for your soldiers if a uh, family death occurs. Anybody could do this. These are all curious things that anybody could do. I think I'm finally getting it. Thanks, man. I mean, first sergeant.